RCW Rubber City Wrestling. Allow me to beg your indulgence for one moment. This is the fallen angel, Christopher Daniel. The blue. Mick Foley. And you are watching RCW Wrestling from the Rubber City. Rubber City Wrestling. Real pro wrestling. Not the flippy stuff. Have a nice day. Yeah. Catch RCW Spotlight Sundays and RCW Global Thursdays only on the RCW Network on YouTube. of RCW Spotlight. I am your host, your role model, Rick Lieb, former two-time RCW World Heavyweight Champion, former one-time RCW World Television Champion. Otherwise known as that other guy on here. Okay, go ahead. Exactly. Unfortunately. And with me as always, he is the star of the show. He is the manager of absolutely zero champions right now. Subject to change. Yeah. And, of course, he is my good friend, the Sicilian Beast, Ken Sermonera. Ken, how you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. Look at the posters in. Oh, look at that. Posters in for Art of War. My birthday. I like that. Your birthday. Yes, it is. Apparently, I think, I believe, looking back in Beast history, it's my sixth birthday event. Is it? Six times. I'm making a point not to take bookings on my birthday. I don't care. I mean, if it is, it is. I've taken them the day before, I've taken them the day after. Never taken one in 33 years on my birthday. Maybe we'll change that next year somehow. I don't know. Oh, no, no, man. I throw black. I throw huge parties. You know, I'm a party guy. You're quite the partier, you know. Quite the partier. That's it. Exactly. Anyway, hey, tickets are in. Tickets are in. Tickets for are this, in. For this event, Art of War 3. Yes, sir. And it'll be so good it might be Art of War 3 and a half. You said you already got a couple sold, huh? A couple sold. They did the three to ringside and four regular. All righty. Let's see. Let's go. We got one, two, three ringside. Pink ones are ringside, fans. All right. And you said four regular? One, two, three, four. You sure you don't need any more just in case? Uh, I'll get back to you next week. There we go. Uh, there we, we go. We got a month. I got a couple ringsides also sold. Um, just got notified the other day. And so I got to get a hold of them. But right there, boom, pulled aside for them. So that's from Glenn and Phyllis right there. So that way they know they got theirs. Uh, Glenn and Phyllis. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's, you know, that's one of the things I like about independent professional wrestling is, you know, we get to get on a more of a... You know, yeah, you. I mean, you got your Glenn and Phyllis. You hands got your on. Front Row Joe. Like the, you you yeah. got your uh, Jimmy Thomas. You know. Yeah. Who? Jimmy Thomas. Hey, oh, Jimmy the Shoe. Jimmy the Shoe Thomas. Yes. Otherwise, now it is Thomas stands for Tom McCann. Right, All right. right, right. Jimmy the Shoe. That's, that's, what, that's what they call him up in uh, Little Italy. We got Big Petey, Jimmy Little Petey, regular right, right. Petey. We got them all. Okay. So, yeah. But we got a big show uh, today. Uh, of course, um, you know, you brought the Jag off some. We're not doing Jag yes. today, are we? We're not doing it yet. We're going to do it soon. You just want to make sure people know it's coming up. We're going to get our dear friend. We know who our dear friend Rory is. Rory Angel, yes. Rory sure. Angel is deeply into this. It's it's her cause. Well, she's a she's a Pittsburgh girl herself. Yes, very much. So she's from the Beaver Valley. It's going to be weird because, like you know, we do this. We, we we shoot this out of Northeast Ohio, Akron, Ohio, to be exact. And then you know, but but you know what? It does make sense having three Pittsburghers on there because you know, if you think about it, where do the Steelers go to retire? Canton. Hey! So, 
I mean, it makes sense. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a commercial break. But when we come back, we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit more about RCW's The Art of War 3. Dear Diary. See you in two minutes and two seconds. Do you need something hauled away? Are you looking to scrap that old washer and dryer? Whether you're moving, doing some spring cleaning, or just need something taken away, Fuller's Cleanout is the way to go. Contact them by phone at 234-716-9651 or on Twitter at FCO The Way To Go. If the stuff has to go, call FCO. CW Spotlight. Fans, August 27th, your birthday. That's it. At Returner Club at 547 Monroe Falls Road in Talmadge, Ohio, Rubber City Wrestling presents The Art of War 3. They're calling this World War 3. Got a new match signed for that, and I'm excited about it. It's me and an opponent of my choosing from the way. Obviously, I'm thinking Max Cortez. Oh, you know what happened last time I got the bones of my choosing. I changed it at the last minute. So you never know with me, but I'm, I'm thinking Max Cortez. For real. I mean, like, you know, just got done partying over there with them. Uh, shout out to Mrs. Felony. Her birthday was yesterday. Happy uh, birthday. Right, exactly. Uh, tonight after this show, or today after this show, you know, we got uh, Ryan's birthday party. My son, you know, the brat. Anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> he's a great interviewer he's a great interviewer um the uh the um things i gotta go over new sponsorship package okay all right um we got a new sponsorship package it's more updated with the ticket prices because the last one was wrong so if you're a sponsor or a future sponsor that wants to be involved Get a hold of us. We actually have a sponsorship package, and these the sponsorships for us range anywhere from fifty dollars to three thousand five hundred dollars, or even more, depending on if you want to bring in bigger stars. Um, bigger stars than us. There's no such thing. What is it talking about? Bigger stars. Woo! Right. We got um, we got the, the main event sponsorship package, which also includes an after party at your event. So what we would do is we would put on our wrestling event. And then afterwards, we would go to your your uh, place of business and throw our after party. So this is basically reserved for either you know like restaurants, bars, or halls. Um, you know we got a big event sponsorship. Oh, by the way, the main event meaning that it actually we named the main event after the uh, the um, sponsor. The sponsor, yeah. And then uh, you know the big event. It, it would be like a co-made event or something like that or, or a big match it would also be named after the sponsor and then you got the um you know we got also undercard sponsorships i mean like all these and, and with all of these um that what with most of these you get free tickets to go with it so that you can either I mean, you could sell them if you don't want them but the truth is you know you'll want them and you go to the event with them um you get a uh, the 50 dollar one does not come with pit, uh, tickets but you know, we we'll, we'll still name a match after you if we have uh, enough matches for you. And uh, I mean, but, but regardless, it's it's worth it. It's worth getting into. And you know, we would come back every every other month, and you could stop whenever you want if you don't like doing it. If you like doing it, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. All right. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, let's talk about this new match that we got going yes. on. Tell me more. Tell me more. Okay. So. It's, it's myself and a partner of my choosing. Like I said before, I got into this. Max Cortez is the guy I'm looking at. It's my partner. Okay, good. Because I'm booked that night. I'm sorry. I can't help you. I can't. Right. They, yeah, no, I was going to get you. I was going to get you. But, but I see you were busy with these other matches. Versus Draven Post. 
and a partner of his choosing. So whoever he gets, you know, then you uh, then then you have you you'll have that going on. So good, good. What do you think? What do I think? Uh, I if, think if here's what I think. I think I get. Wait a minute. Patch. Let me say this. You. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Got it. Okay. <laughs> if Draven post pins you again. No, he didn't pin me. The yeah, my shoulder was up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My shoulder was 100% up. When the, the moment, moment when, when the moment is right, the shoulder goes up. Anyway, um, go back and watch did it. Did you catch it? Did you catch it? All right. So listen, let me finish. Go ahead. If he pins you again, I know that bothers you, but so what? As I was saying, if he pins you again, don't even talk to me. I won't. You have to win. I know I have to win. Keep that in your mind. Oh, it's already in my mind. Draven Post is living rent-free in your brain. He is. He's got a free pass. He's got a meal ticket. He's got the. He got everything. Listen. Paid holidays, Sundays off. You got the whole thing. Yeah. And you know what? He doesn't deserve to be. And that's where it's bothered me. This is getting on my nerves. But maybe he does. What if he does? What if he does what? Deserve to be living in your head. He doesn't. But he does. Beast, what are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this. My shoulder was up. He got an unworthy pin. And now he's going to have to pay the consequences for it. You're going to have to suffer for it. Because you didn't deserve it. That's how I'm going. You know what? And as you see, because of the match being named, I got my waist shirt on. Okay. You look like you just got back from golfing. I just came back from a weekend at Palm Springs. All right. Weekend at Bernie's. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it. But yeah. So So we were there at the pool, and I'm with the wife, and the other woman says to the other woman, look at him. He's such a good husband. True story. No, I don't believe you. These women died to have a husband like me, but they don't. I don't believe you. And, you know. But like I said, you, you're not going to lose to him again, are you? No, what are you talking about? I didn't lose him the first time. I was robbed. Robbed? I was robbed. <coughs> Rob Zombie, what? Rob. Oh, my God. That's the first Rob I could think of, by the way. You got two championship matches. Two! Two! You know. Yeah! Uh, don't forget, also on this card, we got Cody Reaper, his guy, against my boy, Schizo, Josh Cortez. We got Alejandro Crowley, his guy. That's this it. One. I, 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 I feel super good about that. Going against, up against Brennan Martell. I feel prodigy. very good about it. Oh, no, 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 he's the prodigy. There's too many prodigies. Um, the the prodigy, pro Brennan Martell. But Alejandro is the prodigal son. son. For the World Light Heavyweight Championship that's now vacant. Um, you know, we got Miles Jacobs going up against Lionheart. Did we have one more match for you, Alex? We did, but it escapes my memory right now. Well, that hey. was a shock. Hey. Okay. There's a shock. Anyway, um, so yes, we got a great card lined up. Don't forget, August 27th, The Beast's birthday. Get your tickets now. Um, advance tickets. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and still sell mine for uh, advanced price. $15 front row, $10 general admission. Sounds good to me. So if anybody wants to get them in advance, go ahead and hit me up and I'll get them to you with a discount. If Beast wants to do what he can, it's up to the guy who's selling it personally. Of course they get a discount. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a commercial break, but when we come back, we're going to take your questions. TNT Health, unmasking your potential. So, you want to look like the headline, Vinny DiMazzo? Here's your chance. Let's not be ridiculous. Nobody can look like Vinny. But if you need that energy before your workout, or you want to lose some weight, burn some fat, we got that. You want to build some lean muscle, you can get it at TNT. Or even if you just need the essentials, BCAAs, juiced up, we're here at TNT Health, we carry it all. Come visit us at TNTHealth.com. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at Facebook.com slash River City Wrestling, Instagram at River City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com.
Welcome back to Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 Two things I got to bring up before we do your questions and our answers. I just try to welcome them back. What's yeah. going on? We'll welcome them back in a minute. But there's two things that need to be brought up. What's that? Right now. I understand you have some election results to read to us. You know what it's about, don't you? Oh, oh yeah, the bell. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, we won't go over the results, but we'll just go ahead and say that you won barely. Barely. I heard it was a shutout. <laughs> How's that barely? Even Front Row Joe voted for you. What is going on? Hey, God bless you, Joe. What the heck? God bless you. This one's for Front Row Joe. No. Uh, All right. As my grandmother would say, Ah, oh, Madonna Maria. Oh, boy. How do you like I'm gonna, that? I'm going to put this over here since him with that bell turns him into the jag off of the month. Oh. All right. Let's put it this way. If the shoulders are actually down for three count this time, guess who gets it next month? Okay. Uh, yeah, I deserve it. If my shoulders you, unanimously. Actually, if he way. can actually pin my shoulders down. Well, we'll see what we'll, well see. that ain't happening. Just remember that. But one other thing to bring up before we get to the questions. What's that? I got a great message from one of our viewers the other day. Did you? And it says, I, I find that hard to believe. Uh, well, sometimes it gets hard. Anyway. Morons. That's what they are. No, come on now. You don't have to talk about your family that way, all right? <laughs> don't, haven't they been through enough and you've got to make fun of them again? All right. This comes from a guy by the name of Robert Scott from Dunkirk, New York. I've actually been there before. Hey, Beast, just wanted to reach out and say how much I enjoy you and the other guy. Other guy. The real star of the show, by the way. You guys truly make my Sunday. Hoping to get to Akron someday. Who knows? Maybe I can help out Team Beast. The way is just that. In the way. Talk to you soon. Robert. No, it's Well, not. thank you, Robert, very much. You see what it says right there? You're either in the way or you're in the way. And trust me, nobody wants to get in our way. I see them lining up at the door for that, but that's okay. I don't know what you're talking about, Beast. All right, so give them the spiel. Anyway, as I was trying to say when I was welcoming people back. Oh, say it, say it. <coughs> well, fans, it's that time of the show again. You've got questions? We got answers. Now, if you'd like for us to answer your question on the air, feel free to write us at twitter.com forward slash wrestling rubber. I always forget it. I got to think about that one. It's weird because they, didn't, they couldn't get the, uh, that, that sucks. That sucks that you have that. It's just, it's so annoying. It's, it's, it's poetic. You're like a small child with that thing. It's, it's, you know, it's only fitting that this happened. I wonder, why do I have migraines after I get done with the show? It's all right. We, we'll case of Tylenol for this guy. Okay. Forget about it. You got questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got answers. All right. This is a good one. Is it just me or has everyone else noticed? A change in Schizo's behavior. I think he's going soft. Mike Hunt, Beaver, PA. What, am I making you laugh now? Is that, is that funny? Well, wait, wait a minute. Do I look like a clown? Do I amuse you? <laughs> you do if you realize what you just said. What did uh, I say? <coughs> For, okay. Well, I didn't say nothing. You said Schizo's behavior has a change in it. Whoever read that? Uh, that's it. Just that's funny, right? Yeah. Read that name again. <laughs> Michael Hunt? <laughs> yeah. Mike Hunt from Beaver, Pennsylvania. They obviously lied to you about that. Yeah, somebody was putting one over on somebody, but that's okay. We used to do that when we were 14 years old. Wait, you were 14? <laughs> Listen, Schizo has no change in his behavior. Yes, he has. has. No, you don't understand it, okay? Schizo, he always goes back to Josh. He's Josh. He's Josh. Yeah, electroshock therapy will do that to an individual. No, no, no electroshock therapy. I just saw Schizo yesterday at, at Miss Felony's birthday party. Schizo is fine. He's having a great time. Yeah. He was telling little children stories. Yeah, he was, and it, he was very good at it. 
You know, children. He's such a funny guy. Once upon a time, there was this monster, and he got electroshock therapy. No, that was. And then he became a gentleman, and he was very soft spoken. That was. But this also made him soft in the ring, and liable to be beaten in a major match. And they all lived happily ever after. You should probably stay off drugs. I get it. The doctor prescribed, huh? but still. <laughs> and what are we going to do with Pop? Pop can't stay here. Right. Let's put Pop in the garage, all right? Right. Okay. Good. That was a pretty good ride. That was good. That was a pretty good ride. Anyway, yeah. Not Rodney Haynes, either. I, I would dis disagree with him. He did not. Uh, I mean, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Schizo, not soft. Trust me. Uh, Next. That's, that's what she said. Okay. More like they. No, she said not soft. Anyway. Hey guys, where has Animal and Vinnie DeMarzo been? From John Haynes, Kent, Ohio. Well, John, I can say it right now. Vinnie has basically been waiting for the call. But the thing is, Animal's too scared to show up, and Vinnie wants Animal. Animal turned on him, and Vinnie wants Vinnie wants blood. And so if Animal ain't gonna be here. At least not on paper. Why? Why should Vinny fly? All you know what? It, it, may I interrupt you <clears throat> for just a moment? No, but go ahead and talk. Well, here's the deal. I was at the last RCW live event. I saw animals sitting there, as watching fan. the proceedings as a fan, like he should be. But I did not see Vinny DeMarzo. Vin Animal was there, Vinny was not. That's a fact. Let's think about that. That cannot story. be disputed. That cannot be Animal argued. Was, Animal was not listed on the card. But he was there. So why would Vinny fly in from a different state to be here when Animal, all he has to do is drive in from Youngstown or wherever the heck he's living now? That would be Vinny's golden opportunity to go face to face with Animal and well, no, Vinny's golden opportunity is to do... He doesn't want to get arrested for what he does. He don't have to do anything. He just say, here we are in public. I demand a match. Where have you been? Why would you come... All, <clears throat> why not? He could visit... I don't know. I get it. He's got way money, and he can afford it. But why do it? I, that's just what I'm saying. But I'm just giving you the facts. I think, right? Vinny, I think honestly... I think, I think as soon as Animal's ready to face Vinny, Vinny's ready to face Animal. That's all I got to say about that. Right. Yet to be seen, however. Absolutely. All right. Our last next question. question. Last question. And last Thank question. God. All right. These are bad questions. Oh, me. this one was found today in a mayonnaise jar in Funkin' Wagnall's back porch. No one knows the contents of this stuff. But here comes the question. Hey, role model. You ever thought about endorsing head you and know, shoulder? Before, before you go, when it starts off with, hey, role model, you know it's going to be a, a, a dumb question. Not necessarily. All right, let's hear it. Hey, role model. You ever thought about endorsing head and shoulder shampoo? After all, your head was staring at the light while Draven had your shoulders pinned to the mat. From our dear friend, Jeff Humphrey. Why am I not shocked? Sure? Falls. Why am I not shocked? First of all, no, my shoulders were not pinned to the mat. No, I wasn't staring at the lights. I was staring at the referee wondering why he wasn't over on the other side of me where the shoulder was up because he was over there on the side where, I mean, it didn't even make sense. Let me tell you what I remember from that. Because I was, I sat there and watched it. I'm going to show you this thing, and I want to see you say with a straight face that I had. Films can shoulder. be doctored, by the way. But I, however, here's what I saw live: shoulder on the mat. No, you didn't. One, two, three. Referee yells, "Ring the bell, Angie." No. First of all, that was annoying. Second of all, no. Give me. Come on. All right. Why do you people hate me? So I don't good. hate you. I'm so good to you. You talk about the fans that voted for you to get that stupid bell. I, I, they voted in large numbers. I know. Woo! It's like giving a freaking two-year-old one of the little shaped toys that make all that noise. Yeah. It's like giving a five-year-old a whistle. Why would you do stupid stuff like that? Hey, eh, I don't know. Uh, those, they need spanking. You know a question you need to ask? 
No, a question I need to ask is, why does Jeff Humphrey hate me? What is? What did I do to him? Well, you should say, why, Jeff? Why? Why, why John? Why? There you go. That ain't good stuff, Maynard. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> ha. Oh, Any right. other one of your lines that you Oh, like? you're pretty, pretty. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, my goodness. Huh? <laughs> yeah, there yeah. you go. So, on that note. I'm just discussing. What do you, what do you, what do you think of that? What do I think of that? You think it's disrespectful that people write me like that? Oh, these are questions that need to be asked. I don't know oh, about disrespect, <laughs> respect, R E S P E C T. Find out what it means to he. Listen, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna end it and end, end this question with this. You know for a fact my shoulders were up. Anybody who watches Global will see that videos aren't doctored. Why would RCW doctor a video when they're probably laughing at the fact that Draven Post thinks he's got a win over me anyway? On August twenty seventh. That's my birthday. Did you know that? Yeah, we've been told. That's my birthday. My, yeah. go, my girlfriend will buy me a present. Okay? August 27th, Ken's birthday, three days after mine, bring presents for me. He don't need anything. He's old. He's got everything. Um, I got a bell, too. Art of War 3. Stop, stop, stop. Art of War 3. Myself and a tag team partner, my choice, because Draven wouldn't face me one on one, by the way. Woo! We'll take on Draven Post and a tag team partner of his choice. Why Why did they just make it a singles match? Because Draven won't face me one on one. But that would be one more match as if there wasn't enough, but that's okay. And I get, yeah, there's plenty of matches on this card. It's 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 the art of war, it's our biggest it, event. World War One, Two, Three, and Four. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and have that match, and I'm gonna beat the hell out of him, and I'm gonna make him suffer. I'm gonna actually make him suffer. This boy's getting a receipt, and he's gonna get a bad receipt. And anybody in the wrestling business knows what a receipt means. It's not gonna be pretty for him. In other words, will he be after this is over? Will he be talking to himself, Dad? Um, no, because that's know, another I'm, one of my friends. I'm gonna beat him so bad that his imaginary friend dies. That's how bad it is. And the horse left the barn. Tickets are on sale now if you want to see this. And the horse story. left the barn. Absolutely. Okay. Tickets are on sale now if you want to see if, if you want to see this massacre, and others. Again, Pete's got two guys in world heavyweight in world light heavyweight championship matches, so that ought to be interesting. We're ready, Freddie. And uh, tag team champions. Oh, that's the other match that we forgot. Pope Brothers. That's from the um, one part. We're taking on. Top Guns. So there's going to be a lot of good matches going on. A lot of good matches. But the only thing that matters is the way. So for my colleague, Mr. Ken Sermonera, the Sicilian Beast, I am, stop, 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 stop. I am your role model, Rick Lieb, saying join us again next week for another edition of RCW Spotlight. So okay. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. Good ending. No, that was a great ending. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Walk away, Joe. <laughs> He's caught. Ladies and gentlemen, the role model has just left the building. <laughs>